Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cold Steel Engage. So the Cold Steel Engage is a line of EDC knives from Cold Steel that feature their new patented Atlas Lock. The Atlas Lock is a dual pin slide action lock that is supposedly even stronger than their iconic triad lock. As you can see on the outside, uh, the two pins that interact with the slide locking mechanism uh, are present and when the knife opens, uh, the blade wraps around around one of the pins and then the lock uh, engages with the knife and the two pins. This specifically is the two and a half inch glass filled nylon model. This is the budget model. I know the uh, standard engage is like three and a half inches and utilizes G10 as well as S35VN and retails for over $100. While this one retails for around $50 to $60, but I managed to get this for steel price for under $40 at uh, Midway USA. Before we dive deeper into the Cold Steel Engage, let's do a little size comparison up against some of my favorite EDC knives. Here it is up against the Benchmade Bugout and the Benchmade Mini Bugout. As you can see, this model definitely is the smaller model as it's even smaller than the Benchmade Mini Bugout. Here it is up against the Civivi Elementum. Uh, this is the Button Lock 2 version, but it's a pretty standard size and it's still bigger than the Engage. Here it is up against the Large Sebenza 31. One, and here it is up against the Spyderco Para 3. As you can see, the 2.5 inch engage is definitely on the smaller side in terms of EDC knife size. And next up, let's put the engage up against a ruler. As you can see, overall length, it comes in around 6 inches. And then in terms of sharpened blade length, uh, the sharpened blade length comes in around like 2 and a quarter of an inch, but the actual uh, full blade itself is that 2.5 inch mark. The blade thickness is also relatively thin, especially for a cold steel knife. Most cold steel knives, uh, even their EDC knives, are relatively thick, but because this is a lot more EDC friendly, it is on par with the Benchmade Mini Bugout and the Elementum, and stuff like the Large Sebenza is definitely a lot thicker, even when considering the fact that they are bigger. This uh, Engage's blade stock is relatively thin. And lastly, let's weigh the Engage. As you can see, it is pretty light. It comes in around two ounces. So as I said earlier, the two and a half inch Engage is the budget version in the Engage family of knives. Uh, the steel it utilizes is 4116 stainless steel. Obviously it's a stainless steel. It has good toughness, but uh, it really lacks in edge retention. But with that, it is relatively easy to sharpen and maintain. And uh, the blade itself is in a stone wash and it features a clip point shape or according to Cold Steel and uh, Blade HQ they call it a clip point but I personally think it's more around that harpoon shape. I feel like a clip point more of the blade would be you know clipped off uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, of course you have a dual thumb stud for ambidextrous opening. In fact the entire knife is ambidextrous which is really nice with the atlas lock. Uh, the slide lock it can be actuated with uh, either hand no matter if you're left-handed or right-handed and then of course you can slow roll the knife open and reverse flick it which is nice you always love an ambidextrous knife and uh, the next ambidextrous thing about the knife is the deep carry pocket clip uh, it's deep carry the screws aren't recessed unfortunately but uh, it being a sub $50 knife I think it's okay and the clip is reversible on the other side so you get a fully ambidextrous knife the handle material is black glass filled nylon of course it's on the lower end in terms of materials. It's not the most sturdy material, but I think it gets the job done, especially at this price. And uh, while you're sacrificing toughness, it is a very lightweight material, which is great for everyday carry. In terms of gripping the knife, I think the grip is okay. I definitely don't have the biggest hands in the world. In terms of gloves, I'm in between like a medium and a large. I usually go with a large because like the mediums are just too small for me. But even for me, like as I said, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, I can barely get a full four finger grip. Any guy with bigger hands, uh, you're probably going to have your pinky hanging off the edge of the knife, but there is a nice lanyard hole if you do want to throw on a lanyard. But uh, overall, if you are able to get the full four finger grip, I think the ergos are pretty good. Uh, there's this nice finger groove for your index finger, and then uh, it's slightly curved in the back for your the rest of your fingers. Unfortunately, there is no jimping on the side of the blade, but I think it's okay. And uh, overall, it feels 
feels pretty comfortable in hand. I wish you could choke up a little more, but then again, this is only a two and a half inch blade, and so you don't really need that upper finger choil since the knife is so small. Operating the Atlas lock is pretty easy. Uh, you just need to get a good grip uh, in the back. I remember DCA from Knife Center talking about the full size engage and how it's the perfect size for operating the Atlas lock, but he didn't like this smaller version because uh, it is a little awkward to uh, handle the Atlas lock. His hands are bigger than mine, so if you do have bigger hands than mine, uh, you might want to keep in mind that it might get a little awkward to access the Atlas lock, but for me and uh, anyone with smaller hands than me, I think operating the Atlas lock is relatively easy and very simple to use. I think the Engage family of knives is a great new EDC line for cold steel, and I really like that there is a budget option with the two and a half inch model. Uh, it might be a little small, but for less than $40, I don't think you can really go wrong. I mean, this is competing with the likes of Civivi and Senkut and some lower end Kershaws and CRKTs, and I think it fits well, uh, especially because of the locking mechanism. It's an ambidextrous finger safe lock that is very strong. It's supposedly even stronger than the iconic triad lock, which is awesome. I mean, the triad lock is a legendary lock. It's known for being uh, unbreakable. The only uh, ki kind of downside to the lock is that it's not necessarily the most finger safe lock in the world. I mean, with this code 4, you can do that. But uh, with the Atlas lock, it is like 100% finger safe, and it's meant to be operated with only one hand, and your hand and fingers are out of the way of the blade. And the fact that the lock is ambidextrous and just really strong makes it that great of a lock and a knife. Just makes it an awesome lock for any EDC knife. The Engage and the Atlas lock debuted, uh, I think, middle of last year, and uh, Cold Steel is going to be releasing more Atlas lock knives uh, for 2023. I'm personally really excited for the Cold Steel Mayhem. It's basically the equivalent of the Espada XL, but with the Atlas lock, which I think is going to be really cool, and I'm really excited for that knife to release. It's like a folding pocket sword, but very nice and accessible, and with arguably a better lock. So what do you guys think of the Engage and the Cold Steel Atlas lock? I'd definitely like to know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials, and thanks for watching.